Let us look at modified Prasad's classification. Basically, Dr. B. G. Prasad gave the social stratification uh, based on the family income. Okay, so based on the per capita family monthly income. That means every person, right? Per capita, right? That is that what they mean? Family income as an indicator. And there are five classes. They have said yes. It looks like there are five classes here. There's this. We have picked up uh, the latest, which is available. 2019 one so there are five classes let's say so 2019 is on this side guys that is this is a very old one wait look at the new one only then why you want to look at the old one okay so here is the new one 2019 one this is revi revision of prasad's social classification for the year 2019 okay because the value of money keeps changing so that is why they have done this so basically there are five one two three four five so just remember that one is rich isn't it class one is rich that's if that much if you understand it's great class one is rich class five looks like poor i'm not sure if i'm supposed to use these words but please to remember i am telling you class 1 means high class rich class 5 is poor so 5 is poor remember though 5 is a bigger number it is poor here okay so basically it is used in rural families based on per capita monthly income initially he proposed this in 1961 yeah we can see that right and uh, he considered the per capita income in those days but now because of economic economic growth we have to apply a correction factor so correction factor they have applied here so what is per capita family income let's look at that what do you mean by per capita family income so basically they are telling here per capita family monthly income is the total monthly income of the family divided by total members of the family Okay, then they will multiply it again by All India Consumer Price Index, and then they will multiply it with some factor. Wait, there's something like this. You should remember earlier it was old value into 4.63 into 4.93. Okay, now they are going to add 3.07 also. Okay, so you need to get into details as to from where they are getting individual values like this. But finally, you have to remember. this okay so let us see if whatever they are saying is correct or not wait let's calculate and check so they are saying earlier whatever was there into 4.63 into 4.93 they were doing to this now they are adding some 3. Point, what is that 3.07 they are adding right So into three point zero seven will give seven thousand something. That is around seven thousand eight. That's perfect, guys. So that is what they have done here. Okay. So the formula is something like three point zero seven into. Earlier they were just using some uh, value, whatever their value, old value, right? Old value is what he gave initially. That hundred, whatever we took. old value into 4.63 into 4.93 just note what these values are some correction factors these are uh, this one of these is actually the all india consumer price index consumer price index okay so they have a lot of correction 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 here after which they are getting this revised value okay so basically you have to remember 7000 and above per capita income if it is there that is class 1 okay so let us say there are three people in a family father mother and child a very uh we two hours one kind of a family <clears throat> they should be earning how much around 21000 per month earning should be there what do you say is that a correct understanding so per person per month they should be getting 7000 so one person to enjoy life 7000 at least they should be in getting income right so that time they'll be like class 1 class 5 is 
thousand fifty and below. So monthly, if that family of three is making only some three thousand, then it will be class five. Okay. So if you are bachelor, not having anybody with you and all that, seven thousand is class one. Thousand rupees if you are making per month, it is class five. Okay. In between, remember three thousand five hundred, two thousand hundred, thousand fifty one to two thousand hundred and one. Very specific details here. So this is modified Prasad's classification two thousand nineteen. Okay. So basically, significance is that um, B G Prasad classification considers per capita monthly income of the family. It's not about the individuals. It's about the family. But it doesn't look at other factors, right? It doesn't look at other factors only money, money, money. But that is what they want to know, so they are knowing that. Okay, guys. Uh, as though I'm recording the video in 2020, uh, the last available is 2019 information only. Okay, so uh, that's all for now, guys. Modified Prasad classification is done. Okay, bye, bye.